What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? I hope you're excited because today we're ripping into a box, a retail box of 2020-21 Series 2. I'm excited. I think, Like I said in the previous video, I think this crop is better than 2021 Series 1. And the reason I went ahead and picked this up is because it was on sale, the exact same price as the other box. This was $100 Canadian plus tax. So we're going to be hunting for some Kirill Kaprizov today. Lots of other good names here in this product as well as like Tim Stutzla. I know Romanoff's in here. Julia Sorokin, Dylan Cousins. Yeah, lots of great names to hunt for in here, but there are a lot of duds as well. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We've been absolutely killing it lately. I appreciate you all. And we're going to do a giveaway out of 1,000 subscribers if we can hit it by the end of August. So make sure you subscribe because that will be a big giveaway. Uh, drop a like on this video. It helps me reach a wider audience. helps me keep doing videos like these. And comment down below if you've ripped into any 2021 products as of late. This stuff is becoming harder to find. So I figured I might as well rip into some more while it's still kind of common it's probably uncommon now but still it's easy to find if you look hard enough but it's not in every single hobby shop like it used to be all right we got our 24 packs here series two hopefully you can hit a caprice of there aren't as many re, uh, base packs in Series 2 because of the OPG update. So hopefully there's not as many base packs as there was in our Series 1 retail box. And as I say, that looks like we'll start with a base pack. Oh, never mind. There's a Young Guns high in there. Alexander Yellis in there. Not a great one. I didn't even see that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we do get some good names, but that's not a great one. Okay, pack number two. Let's see if we can get a Young Guns again. Oh, it looks like we do have another Young Guns. Hopefully it's Kaprizov. It doesn't look like it. Um, who could this be? Goaltender? Wrong Devils goaltender. Gilly Sen. Yeah, not in the Devils future. I'm not even sure if he's still with the Devils. Probably not, considering they got so many goaltenders there. They got Blackwood. They got Schmid. They got uh, Vanacek. There's so many goaltenders in New Jersey. And Sen, not one of them. All right, we're two for two on the Young Guns so far. Let's see what we get here next. This is, it looks like a green Dazzlers. I think you get... One or two, I think it's two of them. Oh, we got a marquee rookie retro there of Kratzoff first and a green Dazzlers of Bo Horvat. Okay, next up, what do we got? Another base pack? No, nope, this looks like an OPG. OPG marquee rookie of Artem Zagadul, another goaltender with not a ton of upside. Okay, what do we got next? Uh, oh, another marquee rookie retro by the looks of it. Yep, marquee rookie retro there of Pavel France. So it was. All right, next pack. Another OPG by the looks of it. Uh, OPG marquee rookie there of Braden Burke. All right, next up, what's this? Oh, our first portrait card. This one's going to be of Mikel Burdeen, goaltender there. Okay, next up, looks like we have another portrait card, our second one there, Gustav Lindstrom. I haven't seen any Young Guns in a while, so maybe we'll get one here. Uh, yep, looks like we got Young Gun number three. Uh, I can't really tell who that is. Capitals, so it's not a, not a great one there. Brian Pino, not a ton of upside, really. Uh, yeah, no, nah, they're not so great one. So maybe we have a good name hiding in here. Come on, let's see something good. Oh, it's our first canvas card. The canvas card there of Darcy Kemper on the Coyotes, and he's now been on two teams since this picture. The, the Avalanche, and of course, now he plays for the Capitals. Okay, next up, uh, we got another OPG card. This one's going to be an award winner's Matt Dumba. All right, next up, uh, looks like we got our second canvas card. We do have a 50% chance of pulling a young in canvas. There we go, John Tavares, UD Canvas. Time this recording. Leafs just got rid of Kyle Dubas. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Officially halfway through this box now. Make sure you guys follow us over on Whatnot and Instagram because I'm going to start selling some cards on Instagram, doing some posts over there. So if you see anything in these videos you're interested in, make sure you follow us over on Instagram at Arc Sports Cards. Anyways, we'll see what we have here in this pack. Another OPG? What we got here? Or is this our first base pack? Yeah, it looks like we have a base pack. All right, next up looks like we have another Young Guns. Young Gun number four of the box. Come on, let's see a good name. I haven't got anything really yet. I don't think that's... Oh, there we go. I know who this is. Like A little bit of edge damage at the top, but do you guys know who this is by that glove? I do. It is Tim Stutzla. There we go. Probably the second best name to get. I am very high on Stutzla hobby-wise. I'm not a big fan of his, honestly. Oh, and there's a Dazzler's hiding behind it. of Alexis Lafreniere, so that's another good pull there. Well, it used to be a good pull. Probably not a ton of value now, but a rookie Dazzler's of Lafreniere. I'm guessing 3 to $5 for that. But Tim Stutzla, a nice solid $40 to $50 young gun. There is a bit of edge damage on the top. Other than that, it looks pretty good. 
uh, yeah, overall, very happy with that. It was a very strong pack, and I'm actually higher on Tim Stutzla now than I am Lafreniere. Uh, so that's kind of another reason why I like Series 2 better. And there we go, we got a Portraits of Alexander True. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Stutzla has a Jack Hughes type season next year uh, compared to what Hughes did this year. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me in the least. Marky Rookie there of Nick Robertson. And we still need two more young guns, so we'll see if we can get... Oh, there's one here. We'll see if we can get any other decent names. Probably not. But you never know. And this one's going to be Alec Regula there. Uh, yeah, not another not great one, of course, in the practice jersey because of COVID. So we still need one more Young Guns. Still need two more canvases. And we still have a chance of pulling a canvas Young Guns. So it uh, looks like we have our third canvas here. See who we got. It's Mike Riley on the Senators. So I'm going to be getting a lot of OPG. Oh, we got another Green Dazzlers. I guess you get three of them in retail box. Uh, I got an OPG marquee rookie of Chase Prisky and a Green Dazzlers rookie of Shane Bowers. All right, next up, uh, what do we got now? Uh, I can't tell. Is this a base pack? Our second base pack? Yep, yeah, another base pack here. Okay, what do we got now? This looks like it's going to be our final Young Guns, and I see a net, so probably a goaltender. Sorokin's in here, but I don't think it's Sorokin. Flyers goaltender. No, wait, Stuart Skinner? Bang, there we go. We'll take that. Stuart Skinner, Young Guns. For some reason, I thought he was in Series 1, but this is one that's really spiked up since uh, this product's release because, of course, now he's the starter in Edmonton. We'll see if that stays because he just had a really crummy end to the series, but still a solid one right now. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments, guys, if you think Stuart Skinner is going to be the starter for Edmonton next season. I think he probably will, but you never know. We got a, a rookie portraits there of Maxime Latunov. Final two packs, and one of them should be a canvas, so we still have a shot at a canvas Young Guns. So, fingers crossed, and it looks like we got a blue border. Marquee rookie of Joseph Wall, so that's kind of nice. We'll take that, uh, Leafs fans. Okay, final pack here. We'll see if we can hit a canvas Young Guns. If not, should be a normal canvas. It looks like we did hit a canvas Young Guns. Okay, here we go. This box could get even better. Come on. It could be a program excellence as well. Uh, that's a possibility, and you know what? It actually might be. No? Oh, it is. It's a program of excellence. The number four. Is that Byram? Bowen Byram, program of excellence. There you go. That was a good call by me. Uh, I'm not sure what this would be worth. These program of excellence, uh, depending on the players, uh, sell all over the place. I, I pulled a Lafreniere one way back, and I think I sold it for like 40 bucks. So decent pull there. Uh, I'm guessing this is between 15 and the 20. Just a complete guess. I have no idea what it's actually worth. But Bowen Byram, program of excellence, I will take it. So overall, here's a recap. Pretty solid box. We got the wall there, the Lafreniere Dazzlers, some no-name Young Guns, and then, of course, we got Stuart Skinner, Tim Stutzla, and the program excellence of Byram really making up the box. Stutzla, probably the pull of the box. So yeah, let me know uh, what you guys prefer, Series 1 or Series 2 of 2021. I like Series 2 better. Uh, I just had more fun opening it. I'm not sure why, but maybe because I'm higher on guys like Stutzla and Kaprizov than I am Lafreniere. I really like Robertson, but I just think there's more upside guys in Series 2. Uh, yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Make uh, We are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of August. We'll do a big giveaway. And thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Have a good one.